this is the design of the model that represents the state stability. It is divided mainly into a big square which represents the country. Then, and in our case, it is Egypt. And we have in the middle here the circle of state stability. If this dot, which stops the situation of the country, reaches here, this means that this state is in state stability. To reach this circle, it needs to concern the values of the TPM, which is the legal values, the democratic values, and the economical values. The corners is the instability corners. So, if you find here, this is the high hierarchy, this is the control of uh, the hierarchy government, you find here, this is the dictatorship state. This is where the Mubarak regime before the uh, revolution started to transfer from here to here. Here is the confrontation state where we have strong local governance and we have strong hierarchical governance and we are looking to compete with each other. So in the first case there is tendency to state control, in the second case there is tendency to revolution because it is the governance structure against the governance structure. In the low corner we find the anarchy state. For so now where it is a high network and there is a weak state control. There is no state control. Okay, and this network starting to compete against other and starting to use different means, even violent means. Currently in Egypt we started to have different groups like Black Lock, Houses and different groups who are willing to use even power and are willing to use weapons against the army or the police to enforce their objectives. So this is considered a direction to going to this anarchy state because there is no reason of the law. If the legal values are very weak, Maybe you have some democratic values, but the legal values is not in, uh, enough uh, here. In the third stage, there is no control, either three networks or either uh, hierarchy, so it is where we can call it the third stage. These can happen when our countries after war, like uh, Iraq or Germany in the Second World War, and normally this doesn't take a long time because the occupying country or the United Nations will try to take it out to the state control from this uh, region. So we see this uh, before the revolution in Algeria, transferred into the revolution here, after the revolution we started to go here. We are going from this confrontation because Mubarak regime fell down and started to go here. I believe we see that if it is to follow these steps, it will be in the direction going to state Stability. So the first step we were here during the election to the revolution in the 26th of Jan, uh, 2011, we started to go out of the confrontation corner in the constitution referendum and accepting the constitution referendum. Then we went out of this confrontation when we went to the parliamentary election in October 2011. Hopefully in the presidential election in April 2012, if it is accepted and going and uphold fully the values that we are in on, then we are going to continue until we reach the state stability. If you follow this step with no deviation on balancing these values and the presidential election allows to produce a government system that respects the non-government state and can balance between the three values we need to hold, we need to continue the state stability. We find, this is what we see is the actual picture now. I'm not sure, is a big deviation or not? Okay. So, we were here, okay, we transferred into the constitution referendum, then we went to the parliamentary election. I like, uh, ironically, in April 2001, okay, we went to dissolve the parliament. So we made the step and we get back. We cancel the step. And then we went to the presidential election without the parliament. So we have one of the main authorities and the state was not working. And we went to the presidential election. So you see there is a shift from this corner toward this corner. Currently we have Another uh, amendment of the presidential, uh, of the current president Morsi, or presenting the Morsi Brotherhood, which makes a new power to the president. So I, am at, I took the new power after the revolution to make sure there is no corruption. 
Now, end of 2012, I make a new constitution, and I'm not saying that I have this power back. So, we went a confrontation between opposition and the current ruling regime representing the brother Cook. So, we are starting to have here a control of networks against each other, not the state control. The role of the state now is becoming more weak. So, if we have the police now, the police is not able to enforce uh, law. Most of the uh, department of the government have trouble or corruption, so they are not able to enforce uh, the law. So, the legal values here are much depreciated. The democratic value is not really equally uh, developed. And, of course, there is no economic values at all, which is representing our economical situation. Ironically, if we just continue like this, we'll go for the anarchy state. There is another scenario, which we have some rumors now, that there will be some kind of a military action. If this military action happens, it takes over the state control again, then we'll go from here to here. Okay? Not sure if Egypt will be able to go to the center of history. This can happen for me, of this military action, it can make a proper balance between the three values we spoke about again. So, any government structure will not make this proper balance, will be hardly able to go to the civilian government if we use excessive control using power against civilians and so on, like what happened, what happened in, in uh, Syria. So that's the conditions that we are seeing now according to the Central State Stability Model. 